The crest stage gauge module is useful for measuring the stage height of a stream discharge. And you know, this is a great spot for a crest stage gauge. Look at this, we have a nice tight channel, good uh, connection with the banks. This module evolved from some studies done in the mid 2000s to try to figure out a technique that would work in intermittent streams as well as permanent flowing streams across a fairly large spatial area. You see I've got the holes here that'll stop it from uh, becoming plugged up. Some with of the things that surveyors have to look out for is that the crest stage gauge is placed in a location that maintains it in a safe way during uh, the high stream discharge events. In other words, it's protected from debris and other materials coming down the stream. It also should be placed in a location that's going to make it less likely that vandals will alter and, and impact on the device. What's unique about this module is that it can be used in any type of stream, provided that the actual crest stage gauge is high enough that it captures the maximum stage height of any storm event. So it's excellent because it can be used in intermittent streams. And this happens because baby powder is used to mark the height of the stage at any particular moment during flow events. All right, I'm going to start with the left bank. Zero. Zero. The crest stage gauge measurements can be linked to measures of stage discharge, provided that the surveyors have a bank flow profile conducted at this crest stage gauge, and they have a means of linking the changes in elevation in stream height to velocity. This usually requires either a validated Manning's equation or else a stage discharge curve for the site. Okay, Daniel, let's see how high this one came up. All right, well, let's see how high it came up. There's bottom of the pipe. 144, current water level. 54. Rebar to top of the pipe. See, five. Let's clean her out. Okay. There we go. Load it again. Okay. 